company. Right now, I want to tell you about a local couple going through something that few couples ever do, an organ transplant. About three weeks ago, Greg Lewis and his wife, Wendy, they were in Pittsburgh, and Greg gave Wendy one of his kidneys. They're here this morning to share their story in hopes of raising awareness about organ donation. And first of all, welcome. Thank you guys for stopping in. How are you feeling this, Wendy? How are you doing this morning? Wonderful. Wonderful. But with, with a capital W on yes. wonderful. <laughs> Greg, what about you? Feeling great. Feeling great. Hi, right, Wendy. Tell me your story, uh, your, your journey. This, this was your second transplant. Talk about that. Correct. Yes. My um, cousin gave me um, a kidney, my cousin Clifford, uh, 22 years ago. I had glomerular nephritis, which was. Um, because of a reaction to a prescribed medicine. Okay. And, um, you know, 22 years, three babies. I was very lucky. Okay. You know, long time. And um, a couple years ago, realized that, you know, with the trends in my blood work, that I needed another kidney. Mm -hmm. And um, my husband stepped to the plate. Talk about that decision, Greg. I mean, uh, you know, that's, you know, a total act of love. I mean, right. you're talking true love. But, but was it a difficult decision to make? It took you some time to come to that conclusion, though, didn't it? No, actually, what had happened was we didn't know that I would qualify. Okay. We just knew that we had the same blood type. Okay. So once I was able to go through the testing process, then we realized that I was a match and that we could proceed to the surgery. So it was, I'm going to do it. If I can do it, I'm going to do it. Just, just go ahead and let's, let's see if, if we match. Correct. Uh, all right, we got some pictures we want to show right now. You, okay. you guys went to Pittsburgh for the surgery. Yes. Correct. And your doctor said this is very rare. Talk about that. Well, my actual surgeon, he said over a thousand, he's done over a thousand transplants. And he said, I'm the first husband donating to a wife. So I'm like, the superhero around here. Right, 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 <laughs> right, right. With, with that in mind, Wendy, uh, your reaction to what your husband did for you? It's priceless. It's priceless. I mean, you can't even put words to it. I mean, he unselfishly just made that decision, never wavered. You know, he joked. I like this you picture know. right here. You guys, are, this, <laughs> right. is this after surgery? That's what immediately is? after surgery. This is my, with my cousin. He has a number one because okay. he gave me the kidney the first time. Okay. And then my um, husband had the number two. And this is our wonderful surgeon that transplanted Greg and Greg's coordinator. And this is us probably four days after surgery. This wow. is before surgery. Wow. So uh, now, now there's, I saw a video. They, they rolled you into the room to see your husband. I, right. They did. And when you first saw him, what was the, what, what went in your mind? I mean, here he is. Here's my, here's my superhero. Yeah, yeah. Greg, a lot of people probably wonder, once you give a kidney, I mean, how do you feel? Can you still function? I mean, what, how, how is that experience for you as a kidney donor? Th that was the unknown for me. Yeah. But right now, today, we're three weeks from the donation, and I don't feel any different. Okay. okay. So I can resume my normal activities. Okay. I, of course, in the evenings, I have a little discomfort. Okay. But I can't tell that I... Are you going to get over kids. that? Is that they tell you you're going to get over that at yes, some point? Yes. The, the recovery time is about six weeks. Yeah, yeah. So then I'll be back to normal. But I don't have any complaints, no discomfort, any of that. And yeah. I was surprised myself. What are your friends ta saying about you guys? What, what kind of reaction are you getting from your friends I and mean, family? It's all love. Yeah. I mean, the love and support is phenomenal. Um, we both have a very strong family and friend network. Yeah. And, um, you know, there are jokes. You know, right. I, I think he probably made me sign a kidney prenup. So, you know, <laughs> so there's, there's jokes about that. But other than that, I mean, it's, it's wonderful. Talk about the need for organ donations, especially among African Americans. Absolutely. People of color. So that's our main purpose mm -hmm. so that you can see us, so that particularly you can see Greg and hopefully diminish any fears for organ donation, living or other, um, because so there's so much need in the African-American community, mm -hmm. and there's so much fear. Mm -hmm. Talk about the match. It's the last question. What, what, what has to match up in order, or in order for you to give a kidney you know, to another person, or you give a kidney to your wife? What has to match up? First and foremost is blood type. Okay. Um, but then you can combat that because I had a friend that wanted to donate. She wasn't the right blood type. Okay. Um, but she was willing to do a donor swap program. Right, right. So there are programs out there, even if you're not the same blood type, but you simply just want to give an organ okay. or give a kidney. Um, and then there's rigorous testing. You know, okay. that there's, you know, testing that goes on after that and um, rigorous testing for the donor and the recipient. 
and then they determine, you know, once all that's done, which organ is the best, and they go from there. What you guys are looking at this morning is real love. It is. That's Thank real you. love. God bless you guys. Thank you for thank having you. us. You're thank an inspiration. You Appreciate you. Greg, you're my man. Thank, thank you, man. Thank Appreciate you, you guys. <laughs> Wendy, thank, thank you, you as well.